In this video, we will learn how to fix api-ms-win-crt-string-l110.dll is missing from your computer on Windows 10. So let's begin. So to solve this DLL error, just go in the description and there will be a link to this site. Just go and open that. Once you are here, what you need to do is you need to download the 32-bit DLL file as well as 64-bit DLL file with the same versions. So first we will be searching for the files with the same version. So here we have the 32-bit DLL file and here we have 64-bit DLL file that is having the same version. So first we will download the 32-bit DLL file. So here we are. Let's go and download the 32-bit DLL file. Make sure the versions of 32-bit as well as 64-bit are the same. So it would take a bit of a time. Now here we are. Now go back and now download the 64-bit DLL file of the same version. So here we are, this one, downloaded. So meanwhile it is being downloaded, first we need to check what kind of system we have. Either it is 32-bit or 64-bit system. For that just go and open your file explorer, go to your this PC, right click it and here click on properties. So against the properties, you, against the system type, you can see what kind of system we have. So we have 64-bit operating system. So go back. We would solve the problem for 32-bit as well as 64-bit operating systems. Now go to your downloads. We have already downloaded the files, required files. So this one is 32-bit, this one is 64-bit. So extract both of the files. First we would extract the 32-bit DLL file. So extract it. Now extract the second 64-bit DLL file. First we would solve the problem for 32-bit operating systems. So here we are. Now for the 32-bit operating system, just go to your 32-bit DLL file folder, copy the DLL 32-bit DLL file, copy it, go to your this PC, sorry local disk C, and here go to Windows. Now scroll down below and search for system 32. So here we have system32, open it and paste the 32-bit DLL file here and click on continue. So we have successfully solved the problem for 32-bit operating systems. Now we will solve the problem for 64-bit operating system. For 64-bit operating systems, copy the 32-bit DLL file first, copy it. Once you have copied the 32-bit DLL file, go to your Windows folder in local disk C and here go to sysvow64 and paste the 32-bit DLL file here paste it here, click on continue now go back to windows folder now copy the 64-bit DLL fi file from here by going to here, copy it and go to your windows folder now what you need to do is paste this 64-bit DLL file in system32 paste it here and click on continue. So here we are. Now we have successfully solved the problem for 64-bit operating system as well. If the instructions are confusing, I would paste these instructions in the description so you can just go and see it from there as well as the download link. So hope it has helped you but before you go please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.